Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus and Compass Our Roach Plays Stellaris. We left off in a spot where we're a little concerned about the giant powers surrounding us that threaten to destroy our very existence. That about right? Yeah, pretty much. I'm also dealing with uh, contingency attacks on all sides of my borders. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, but I am. I have decoded some of their technology, and I'm currently researching it. I have ooh. regenerative whole tissue ooh. is being uh, researched. DC's eight, four, uh, zero seven, point two. modules are being uh, are being researched, and kinetic artillery is also being researched. Not one of theirs, but something I've been meaning to get to for a while. I'm uh, researching another uh, strategic resource to see if it pops in my little corner <laughs> of the the galaxy. Sooner or later, Ben, you'll get lucky. Yeah, I know exactly. That's what I'm thinking. I'm almost done with mining network four and five too. That'll help out a lot. And I'm I'm just kind of waiting on to get ten thousand minerals so I can start a mega structure because I've never built a mega structure outside of the habitats before. And I think that'll be interesting. Oh, they're fun. They're nice. They're cool. They're nice and fun. Uh, let's see. Next month, I'll, we we will reveal if we have access to dark matter. I mean, you can see those these resources. So, can you see any in my area? Uh, hang on. That'd be something. I just, I just figured, I just got it. So, let me get the next research going. Uh, do I have? It does. I cannot see stuff in your territory. Do I not have sight with you? Offer trade. You should. Uh, information. Maybe active sensor. Active link. sensor. Link. Yeah. Okay. So, information. Make, make sure that's on. Full. Okay. Make sure that's on a, like Worth 30, 30 years. years. Confirm that. All right, I send it to you. Technological acquisition successful. Okay. Uh, whirlwind missiles, military station damage, this guy. Okay. So let's see. Uh, is there a button to toggle this shit? No. If it's not showing up, no, it's, it's either got a mining station on it or it's uh, not there. Well, it's not showing me any of this stuff in your territory. Well, yeah, because I have mining stations on all of my. Stars. Yeah, but I have it. I had there's a toggle to show it if it's on an uh, if it's uh, if it's got a mining station or not. And I. Th oh, where? Where's that? At? It's uh, that lower left hand corner. There's a little checkbox it says details map mode. Oh. Oh, there you are. That's nice. See why that's a defaulted off. Yeah, really. All right, maybe if you do, you have it on now. I have it. I have it on. Okay, I still can't see anything. Maybe, maybe, complete. maybe I need to get your star charts. Have we given each other star charts? I can see your stuff. You can see my stuff. Okay, so let's try this. Um, offer trade deal information, star charts, information, star charts, confirm. A foreign yep. entity has a decrypted. Now I can see. We didn't. You, there it goes. Didn't have the star charts uh, done. So let's see here. Uh, I can see some neutronium in your system. It looks like it's already being worked. I'm looking for. I don't see any dark matter anywhere. Mm. Sadly. Just my luck, eh? I don't see it at least. I see you see you got a, you got a lot of neutronium. That's gotta be nice. Must be nice. Uh, I don't know if I can even see neutronium, so I might not oh, actually have that. It is it is saying that you so if you have it if you get it uh researched, you will have it, which is twenty percent armor. Yeah. Well that might be something I can I see I saw at least at. three of them in there. Right now, I'm just worried about building up another fleet again so I can go and attack yeah. Autonomous Cluster 003 <laughs> and uh, deal with that, research the tech uh, that the debris has in that system, then move on to my other fronts. Do you have only bombers? Uh, Yes, right now for my... Yeah. You know what's better than level one shields? Level four armor. Thank you, auto designer. Let's save that. Let's upgrade these. It's actually just got level two bombers. 
So, it's so using level one bombers before. Ship augmentation. That's about another, another K out of my fleet. All right, this will, this will be a bit of a an, an investment, but it'll pay off in the long run. Okay, so you should be working that. Yeah. Doing a little dragging and dropping and getting on getting some more some more research. I like it. So like you go harvest the pets. I love that uh I have I have I, I'm a, a mechanical race that has like Xeno pets. <laughs> so we're robots, but we still have like I love that wallows. tile. That gives you like what nine society research in one tile. Like it's it's uh, so right now I get I get eight society research and seven unity out of that tile. Complete. Mm. It's pretty good. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. It's a great tile. All right, we're working our way back. I just had to uh, to splurge like one or two thousand uh, minerals on the next level of mineral buildings. But oh, I can research jump drives. Go ahead, upgrade that. It'll pay off. I think I'm, think yeah yeah I'm gonna research jump drives. No reason not to at this point. No, there's there's literally no reason not to. Hey, if the unbidden come and they don't spawn in my area, fine. Uh, God, all your neutronium belongs to us. I want your neutronium, God damn it! I really wish I'd gotten that dark matter. That would have been all. That's twenty percent uh, physics research. That's a big one. Er, punched my microphone again. All right. Why am I doing army damage? Probably because there's nothing else worth getting in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the point in some of my tech uh, trees that I'm just getting like the the bonus, yeah, like the fire rate bonus yeah. thing, like I, the repeat, the I, ones I, that repeat. Yeah, but I know there are other techs though because I in in my engineering thing I haven't gotten uh, the uh, I haven't gotten the ability to make uh uh no what are they called hmm. um the big the like habitats and uh, 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 mega structures uh, mega structures there we go yes. No, I'm tur one of my habitats I've turned into basically nothing but a science lab. It's just got science after science after science. It, every tile provides 15 science, so. What's your, uh, what's your science scores? Right now, it's 127, 115, and 124. That's pretty good. Uh, and in, in terms of how does it modify, and I have You're a... basically exactly 100 points behind me, because I'm at 229, 220, and 257. Uh, and then my, my cost modifiers is 92% extra because of planets and pops. What is your cost modifier? Cost modifier? Where would I see that? Uh, just go to, go to any tech and hover over the, um, the number of tech points you need to finish it, and it'll tell you what the modifier, where, where, you know, how it modifies out so let's see here cost modifier cost modifier where where exactly so are you open up at this open thing? up the technology screen and yeah, go here. to any tech and it, it'll say like right for me it says applied superconductivity 5701 of 11580 gives you two numbers there how much you have researched and how much you need to finish it Oh, okay. Then, so 18, uh, 18 planets gives me plus 170%. Uh, 247 pops gives me plus 237%. Uh, so, so in terms of research, I'm actually doing better than Roach because I he's got about 40% more research, like flat research power for me, but has a modifier of like 400% where I have a modifier of 90%. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Which is, this is exactly how I thought the... Uh, that little uh, firewall tech should have been modified yeah. like this so that it was a little more even, but, you know, whatever. Can't have it. It's not going to be perfect. Right after, right after it comes out.
So, uh, did I... Did I get the next level? I did, okay. I did get the next level of bombers. Which means we're going to have to take something off. There we go, save that. So that would be another fleet upgrade. Went from level th one bombers to level three bombers really fast. That's good. Yeah. Those, those things, those little bastards are, are great for long range striking, especially when you don't have the detect to specifically like get like long range direct fire weapons. Yeah. Nope. No, I didn't want you guys to, uh, to break off from each other. I want you to merge back together. All right. How almost got enough for a mega structure. Almost. How are we doing here? Uh, whoop, swap you guys for some more research. Uh, it looks like someone else needs to get their ass purged. Along with her face. Right in the face and ass. Are these already level 4? Those are already level 4. Okay. Nice. Okay. So, still gotta decide what mega structure to build first. But I'm thinking the science one. Uh, science one's good. So is the uh, sensor one. Mm -hmm. Sensor one's really good. Uh, I think the science and the sensor one both have the least amount of restrictions on where you can build them. Mm -hmm. The thing about the Dyson Sphere is you have to build it in a place where you don't care about any of the planets in the system. Because they'll all go because dark. As soon as, yeah, because as soon as you build, as soon as you finish it, uh, all of them become barren. Yeah, I actually have a system with a sun in it that has literally nothing in it. And so you can... Yeah, my society research, nothing in here is really any use, like, right now. So mm. it's just like, eh, okay, just do something. Science Nexus is really good, though. Mm -hmm, that's and what that's I'm thinking. A, that's a huge boon to science, which will help you uh, in the long run. Yeah. yeah. All right, it looks like the enemy, it looks like our, uh, the, uh, the Awakened Empire's uh, thralls are are beginning their assault on the northern contingency planet. Oh my. Oh, interesting. I just found some dark matter. It's Where's that at? It's in it, it, it's um a black hole in contingency space right now. It's in the adjacent the black hole adjacent to the contingency planet in the north there. It has dark matter in it. Oh, the the uh I, I have I oh, I can see black matter or not black matter <laughs> dark dark matter, matter. I, I can see dark matter so yeah I can see that dark matter matters I was actually planning on colonizing that arm once we deal with the contingency threat get that science boost yeah which I need more than you yeah you do <laughs> I mean I'm trying I'm I, I'm trying to like out tech people which means I was just, but, but, uh, Roach is gonna start, he's got the power, he's got the muscle, but he's gonna start, you know, falling behind in terms of, of, of tech because of that, those modifiers. Yeah, but I just claimed a big area of space because of the, um, the contingency knocked out one of their frontier outposts on the, on the Confederacy's border. Mm -hmm. So I just claimed this huge area in my, in the, like this, uh, our southern border. Uh, so with this one frontier outpost, and it has a lot of fresh resources to exploit. So the ma the max level science nexus produces two hundred and twenty five of each. Yeah, it takes a shitload of time and resources to build it because that it, it's three stages yeah. you have to build. Yeah. So your first stage is I think is only going to give you like a plus seventy five fifty I think seventy five. So, I mean, it's still worth it. Oh, but. yeah. All right, this, uh, yeah, we're building it around this uh, this place because there's nothing there. I don't know if it's going to affect the actual planet at all, but still. All right, we're going into an attack. Oh, the, the contingency planet is, is taken. Oh, so scary. Also very scary. Are you at your it, it, uh, is like a ninety thousand fleet power your your max fleet size? Or do you have... No, I still have like ninety. Uh, so still... still have ninety naval capacity on top of that. Still have room. It just grow. takes. It really the biggest the big my biggest problem is my mineral intake, is uh, 
is a, a lot lower than it needs to be to to build up the uh, the amount that I need. Mm -hmm. Oh, and these uh, and these battles are just oh, they're so grueling. Oh yeah, every time it's like, well, there goes another forty thousand. Yep, and I have to rebuild it. All right, so let's see here. In terms of constructing this son of a bitch. Building. This one was a bit better though. This one was a bit better because of the uh, the energy weapons. Uh, I only lost twenty k. Gotcha. So I lost uh, I lost nineteen cruisers, four destroyers, one corvette. Again, just that one corvette <laughs> uh, and nine battleships. There's that one so that suicide corvette you got to send into every battle. All right, I'm gonna get plus five percent to energy credits in a hot second here. Technological nice. acquisition successful. There we go. All right, what do we got? What do we got up next here? Uh, governing ethics attraction. That's not going to help me out. Hyperdrive three. That could help me out. Kinetic weapon attack speed. That'll help me out. Go ahead and build a pop here. And we're going to purge one of these ones. We're doing these, like, rolling purges. It's working out pretty well. <laughs> there is still one, one pop of my original cyborgs left in my, in my territory. Just the one. There you go. Who got moved, who got moved over to Ash's Prime before the destruction of the rest of our territory. Okay, I'm also uh, to uh, the one person who commented into my um, into my comment section. I think uh, either yesterday's episode or the episode before yesterday. Uh, why don't I build ships on all of my worlds instead of a couple of like central worlds that I normally build them on? You know, I noticed that too, and really that was just so I could uh, things looked prettier. <laughs> uh, I didn't have I, I didn't have all these these like like just webs of ships trying to get to the uh, the rally point from like all over the Empire and thus increasing their chances of getting intercepted. Uh, but you're right. It makes it a lot quicker to rebuild. So I am now doing that. See, I thought you were going to say that you had the like the battle simulators built on your stations and you're only building them from the ones that would get that plus 5% to... Uh... Well, fire. that's also the other thing I was doing because uh, most of my... Uh, that, that was the initial goal, but it's like plus 5%. It's like, but it's increasing my turnaround time for when I can get back into combat by like months. Mm -hmm. So like, it's a, it's a trade off. Mm -hmm. I, I can either get into combat a bit quicker, which matters with an in game crisis, or I can, uh, you know, try and get the best, uh, get the best I can, like our, get the, you know, the individual ships. Yeah. Uh, I'm not too fussed about in all honesty. And then here comes another 71k fucking fleet. I see. I see. There's a 71. There's a 72. There's a 72. Why don't you go fight the people who could actually, you know, fight you effectively instead of Roach? Leave, leave Roach alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, what do you, oh, battle, battle. Okay, I'm, I'm putting the battle simulators on my space stations now. I was like, what what I, right, I just researched the, uh, I just researched my, uh, uh, debris. Or what'd you get out of that one? Anything good? Construction. Uh, just just more bonuses to the same text. Gotcha. Which will make it a lot easier to get them finished real quick. I mean, I've already gotten about half of them done. Uh, right now, I'm thinking I'm doing uh, I'm doing uh, well. No, I've already done those. So I actually should, if I go to my spinal lanced uh, battleship, I should be able to mount a... Technological acquisition huh. successful. Hold on, let's see if this does something. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I do have jump drives, so yeah, that's, that's something I can upgrade. Cool. How is this habitat looking? Very habitatable. Yeah, I think the next, uh, the, the upgrades for the the megastructures are like 30,000 minerals or something like that. 
Yeah, yeah, well, I do top. have a, a max storage of 50,000. Oh, for a second there, I was like, I don't even know if I could store that many minerals in my empire. No, I can. No, when I was uh, when I was first getting into building my uh, uh, my mega structures in one of my games, I had to actually like sacrifice a couple of like useful buildings to make like mineral silos on a couple of planets to, to get enough to store it up. To get enough. All right, so this place is covered in terms of purging. So that's that's that planet's finished with its purging, I think. But this one's got one more purge. One more purge. Uh, yeah, one more purge. And we'll be set. <laughs> Sabo, we're on a planet that's purging. We're on a planet that's purging. <laughs> the you the and you don't get that because you don't watch Rick and Morty. So you know. the, the speed of the uh, the science, the, the actual facility is really not that bad. I'm about 40% done. Yeah, but we're playing on fast. Yeah. This is a really sad looking mega... I wouldn't call this a mega structure. It's like this smaller than a fortress. Structure. What the fuck? Sound like a like somebody who's who's complaining about somebody else's yacht. <laughs> like what the... You know what it sounds like? It sounds like a Trump tweet. This mega structure is very small. You see the Magnusoids mega structure? Sad. They have the biggest mega structures. Very bigly. Surrounded by lots of space. Don't look at my hands. Lots of space. <laughs> my fingers, they're fine. They're normal sized. <laughs> oh, man. That started to come along, though. It's just like it's just like a platform with like eight buildings on it. Construction complete. <laughs> I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't call anything about this mega. God. Shut up. All right, let's build a new pop. Probably want to throw out some more battleships too. Get that fleet up. Get that fleet up to uh, at least a, a somewhat respectable size. Just try to get my fleet up to above 20k. Yeah. I know it's it's it's, it's no Roach 90,000 fleet power, but it's that's it's, it's biggest. I, I haven't had. gotten to 90,000 yet. That's successful. Hyperdrive three. Uh, ooh, planetary sensor range could be useful, but then I could also build the giant sensor array. Yeah. So I think it's time for a particle lance. It also means I need to upgrade my ships. Oh, that's a that's a dangerous uh, Corvette assemblage. No armor. Or I could, uh, I don't think that'll do it. Nope, that's not going to do it. But if we, we do have extra, our, well, eh, that's okay. Save that. Destroyer. Not sure we have those tier three jump drives or hyper drives, that is. Save cruiser. That's okay, actually. It's like a nice uh, ass assemblage of different types of doodles. <laughs> Strike craft damage up 10%. Yeah, I got one of those techs earlier, too. There we go. Mega structure research. Get it. There we go. Jesus Christ. Get this going, I can actually start to uh, start fighting these guys. I don't think getting a new engine on these will actually increase the fleet power at all. Yeah, but it, it means, doesn't. It means or they move faster. Ship yeah, I'm, I'm outfitting my military ships with jump drives right now. So you just bounce around. 
well, I want to I want to outfit this fleet with jump drives. Then I'm going to jump them up to my northern planet that's under siege because there's only one pop left on it. Oh, so yeah, it's been it's been under siege for about a year and a half. It's been a little while. <laughs> A little while so is the bottom one it's, it's been a while as well but it still has like this still has like 20 pops on it it's like a it's a big world they got, there's a lot of replicators to grind through is what he's saying yeah a lot of people to kill it's not like these people have families or these these machines have families we, we don't care about that exactly it's <laughs> all right all right so now we have our jump drives ready to go i think everything's got jump drives right Come on, society research. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get something useful next time. Got nine months to finish. Army health plus 10%. And uh, hopefully I'll get something useful. Most of it's like is like core systems or sector sector limit. Uh, leader uh, pool capacity. Stuff that doesn't matter when you're going to, when you've got a small little empire. Hmm. Okay, get one more ship into our into our fleet before we move out. One of my battleships, a single one of my battleships, is one thousand four hundred and forty-five fleet power. That's that's the Predator class, which I I think is my uh, my Predator class is my. Uh, my hanger it, yeah. or not my hanger my my carrier i think mine's around there too because i got i have 14 battleships three cruisers is my fleet and it's about twenty one thousand. so that balances out to about the same you just have a lot more of them yep 26 i have 14. damn you society research funneling that somewhere else what I could really use is, well, I already got, like, Tier 5 reactors, so the next one would be, like, one of the, I think one of the techs you have to actually go through a, a, uh, like, a, a quest line to get. Mm hmm Damn it. Alright, so 82% Tier fires with... pushed me back. They built two, two frontier outposts. Ooh. Right next to each other to, to, to get that space back. Really? Complete. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with them after the contingency becomes a thing. Oh, yeah, I see them right there. I snore in uh, Janam. Oh, wow. And there's the uh, there's the, the Fallen Empire or the Awakened Empire going into war with the uh, the contingency in that system. Ooh. How's it look? I mean, they're getting ground down. They're getting ground down. Like They, they lost a couple K in this fight. Uh, but, oh my god. <laughs> All right, so army damage. That's one I don't have to deal with, so. Go ahead and take that one. I and am I'm fighting these guys up in the north, and looks like we are, we're mopping them up. Yep. Yeah, look, look at this. Behold my mega structure, viewers. Look how mega it is. This is really anticlimactic for a mega structure. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be like a. Uh, well, the like the Dyson sphere and the the habit uh, the and the ring the ring. It's more of a utility structure. Super cool. Everything. This is just more. Uh, maybe a little cooler if I upgrade it. Wow, I've, I've researched so much of the wreckage of the contingency. It's <laughs> I only need sixteen months to finish uh, sentient combat AI or sapient. Sapient combat, combat AI. AI. So you, Sapient. you're just figuring that out now. I've had that for decades. <laughs> so, so you were the one that that caused the contingency to be. Oh yeah, it's it's like I said, it's always me. And when I tell you it's not me, I'm lying. Yeah. All right. Thought we were on the same page there. No, no, I. Got a tip from one of my commenters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like like when I a... when I start touching the red AI, I never tell anybody I'm doing it, but I always do it. 
was like, why did the why did the contingency spawn so early? This is It's because I got lucky with an early red tech. Well Yeah. Yeah. Alright, ninety eight percent done. Ninety nine percent done. Well, we are over time. Ninety nine percent Ah fuck. <laughs> well, anyhow, was this uh me? This is me, right? This is you. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying the series. Uh, don't forget you can find all of the links provided in the description below, the other series, the other um, perspective, that is, from Roach's series or mine if you're watching Roach, and Patreon and Discord, and all that fun stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.